everyone it's Tracy here from Cheeky Journals welcome to part two of let's make a junk journal in part one we worked on constructing the cover and this is what we've done so far so we've made eight journals in total but they have been made exactly the same way the only difference is we've chosen two different types of scrapbook paper so if you haven't seen part one yet i would recommend watching it so i'll leave a link down below in the description box and today we're going to work on the inside of the cover and i'm thinking of creating a pocket for the front here we are still thinking and working on the back i might be adding slightly a larger pocket maybe something like a side tuck spot or I'm even thinking of doing an envelope there. So we'll get back to that. I think let's just take it one step at a time and first work on the front. So for the front, I'm planning to add a small pocket that reminds me of those library pockets that you used to get when I was a kid and I went to the library. They had these pockets in the front of the books, which I think most of you would remember. And um, you had these cards slipping in where they stamped the date of when you have to return the book. So I sort of want to recreate that in my own way. And I'm going to use this piece of cardstock that I've cut out in a square. You can make it as large or as small as you would like. But for reference, let's go to the centimeter side. I have cut this 12 centimeters going all the way around since it's a square. And I am going to fold this, uh, the sides in and the bottom. So I've got an example here that I can show you where I've already folded the sides and the bottom in. So this is one and a half centimeters each of the sides there. And I've left this open because I still want to decorate the front. But when I'm done decorating, I will be adding two dots of glue there just to stick that down. To decorate the front, I'm going to go with this Stamperia or Stamperia Deco Parch paper. And I really love all the little um, imagery and the numbers, the writing on there. It really stands out to me. The problem is we just, we need to make eight pockets because I've got eight journals. And I think this is only going to cover four of the pockets. So for four pockets, we'll be using this paper and I'm thinking of adding it to this cover. And I don't want to add anything extra to it because I think there's enough going on there, but we'll see. And then for this journal, this cover, we'll have to do something slightly different, but I want to keep it on the same track. So I was thinking of using some sewing paper or pattern paper. It is very, it doesn't have as much going on as the sticker parch paper. There's not a lot of imagery or writing on there. So I think we're going to have to add something extra on there. And that's where this stamp set comes in. I'm going to use this lady on the pattern paper. And I am also thinking of using with that some Tim Holtz die cut pieces. For example, I think this parcel post will go really well with her just to bring something more to this paper and not leave it too blank or bland. And that's what we're going to do. So stick around and let's get to it. Okay, so what I'm going to start off with is just by doing these folds and i want it to be one and a half centimeters so i'm just using a ruler with a pencil and measuring that out i'm just doing two little dots there just as a guideline so i get a straight fold if you don't get a straight fold your pocket's going to turn out skew and that's not necessarily the best look an easier way to do this is with a scoreboard that will work really well but for this instance I'm just going to go with this method because we don't all own a scoreboard and I just line up those two dots with my ruler and then I just lift that up and give it a fold.
I'm going to use my corner rounder just to round these corners. And there we go. We've got the beginning parts of the pocket. And now we're going to decorate the front of it. I'm ready to decorate this pocket. I'm going to start off with this sewing pattern paper. I will be tearing off random pieces and just sticking it on here with a glue stick. The reason I'm going with the glue stick is it's easy, it's less messy and it works just as well. You can use, if you want to, a gel medium, a matte medium, Mod Podge or Deco Podge glue, whatever you've got on hand. The only reason I'm not going with this is it's essentially a wet glue and when you add anything wet to paper, it changes the texture. And I want to keep the surface fairly flat. I don't want any little waves in the paper or the card. And that's the reason for going with the glue stick.
I've finished all the pockets and I thought I'll just quickly show you how they've all turned out and give you a closer look. I really like this lady that I've stamped out here and I've just added some watercolour. And then with the second pocket, I've kept it fairly simple. As I've mentioned before, I really like this paper and I didn't want to cover too much up of it. It really stands out to me already. But I have added some lace and a button and that's just finishing off this pocket I am planning to add one of these cards to it. It sits in there really nicely. I'm planning to decorate the front of it, but I'm going to leave the back blank for some writing space. I have gone ahead and I've chosen a few things that I'm thinking of using to decorate that card with. So what I will do is I'm just going to make some space here and then I'll show you what I've picked. So one of the first things that I've picked is this Tim Holtz tissue or collage paper. This is called Typography and I'm planning to add it to the background. Of course, I've also got some Distress Ink and Vintage Photo. I have picked out a few stamps. So I've got some alpha stamps there and then I love using these numbers, especially on small surfaces some cheesecloth, a few colourful postage stamps. I want to use this image as my focal point. This is a printable from my Etsy store. It's an old stitchery book that I found and I've taken pages, images and also ads from it and I've made an eight page printable so I'll leave a link down below if you would like to see it. And then the last thing that I've got is some paper bits and I love adding some stamping on here or just adding it to the background. So we'll see what we can create with this. And before I forget, I am also planning to add a tab to this card. I will be using this We Are Memory Keepers tab punch board. If you don't have that, you can just use a normal tab. I know we've all got these in our room somewhere. And you can just place it on there, trace around it, and then cut those parts out to get basically the same effect as the punch board would give you. Alternatively, you can open this up, trace it onto some scrapbook paper, and then cut it out, fold it over, and you can basically just glue that on there and it's going to give you the same look so let's get right to it and see what we can do
I ended up going with the envelope at the back and I'm really happy I've done that. It's something different. And then I've got the pocket chair in the front with the journaling card. I'll also show you this cover over here. And I am really happy with how both of them turned out. In the next part, we will work on the signature and start decorating it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Give it a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.